The rescheduled 2020 Summer Olympic Games are set to begin just a year from today in Tokyo and hoping to compete in her fifth Games, nine-time Olympic medalist Allison Felix. When the Games were first postponed, Felix came out with a strong message of hope that despite the delay, the Games would happen. Now, five months later, with coronavirus still raging, NBC4's Lolita Lopez asks Felix if she still has hope. I mean, I feel like I have to hold on to hope. You know, that's the one thing that I do have. And, um, you know, these are very real dreams. And at the same time, you know, I understand what the world is facing and how serious it is. And um, so as long as, you know, we're scheduled to compete, I'm going to keep pushing forward. And, um, and I want to be there. Whatever the games may be, it will likely look very different mm -hmm. than a traditional games, maybe even a stripped down version of it altogether. You recently ran in a virtual competition where your competitors were in other states and other countries. They weren't even next to you. Um, how do you feel about the possibility of being potentially in an empty stadium or even running virtually? I think I was really hesitant, you know, when the virtual race was um, presented to me just because running is something where you really need competitors and you do better when you're racing against each other. You can just raise that level. And so it's a different challenge when you're by yourself. But I think what we're seeing now is that you have to get creative and you have to adapt. And, you know, obviously it's such a serious issue that you have to think about things that might not be ideal. So I think for me, it's about figuring out how it can get done, even if it does look different because I think what sport represents at this time is something like never before and I, I think it's going to be a healing moment. Is a vaccine uh, something that you would need? I mean I think you know we would all feel most comfortable with a vaccine but I would definitely be open to um, different options you know something like the bubble it could be interesting you know as long as it's um, an option that's safe for everyone then I feel like I'm down to get creative and, and figure it out. <laughs> for you personally this is a different Olympics you are a mother now um, what has that been like in terms of your training and what is that like for you? It's definitely a challenge you know um, <laughs> before I had my daughter you know everything was just focused on myself and um, life has completely shifted. I mean, in the most amazing way. I love being a mom, but um, when I mix that with training, I, I need support. And so it's really a family effort. And my husband has been amazing. And just, um, we put everything on hold and it's a, it's a family thing that we're doing. When I began this comeback, my daughter is just a newborn and, and we really just felt like we wanted her to be with family. And so I'm just so grateful that she can come to some training sessions and I can look over and like see my motivation in the flesh. And <laughs> it's just a really cool thing. I've always been a competitor and I've always been driven to win, but now the reason why is totally different. You know, I want to show her what hard work looks like and how to overcome adversity and um, how to speak your truth and stand up for what you believe in. And so I can't wait to tell her about this journey that we've been on together and show her pictures of, you know, her around the world watching me compete. And um, hopefully that will, um, you know, the journey will continue in, in Tokyo. And NBC4's Daniela Guzman will be covering the Olympics for us live from Tokyo. You can watch her reports from the Games starting next summer.